Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to chop and screw in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end, follow my steps correctly so you can make sure that this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can play. You have your audio recorder right here and so on. So let's go and see how we can get started with chop and screwing our tracks. So basically, you want to open up the audio recorder right here. That's going to open up this new recording menu where we can get started with recording the tracks that we have and if you want you can go ahead and start recording your own track right now by clicking the big red circle at the top of the screen but what we're going to do after we have gotten all the tracks we have and we need go right here into the upper left corner and click this button in the middle this is going to open up this edit and mastering mode where as you can see we can find all the tracks that we have so i have my drum track right here as you can see my keyboard audio record and so on so basically guys you need a couple of options all you need to do to be able to use drop and screw effects is you're going to have to be creative but you'll need to lower your tempo if you know how the process goes you'll first get started with lowering your tempo so you can do so right here in the upper right corner by clicking the settings icon and the settings icon you can select the tempo that you want to use so you want to lower it after that you can get started with cutting your tracks where you want to cut them you can do so by tapping on the tracks right here and using the split option so you can split it wherever you want and divide your tracks to your necessary uh, what you want to do to get your desired effects and right here at the top of the screen we have a sliders effect and the sliders effect is going to enable us to add mass effects as you can see we have all the master effects right here as well as plugins and equalizer they are going to help you get your desired effects so you want to be creative combine everything i have just shown you to get your desired effect but yeah guys basically that is how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel see you guys thanks for watching take care and bye